up in your hair. Huh? You first. I insist. All night stakeout on the Mandel case. Five o'clock in the morning. He decides to skip down the fire escape. I tackle him in the alley. Only it's not Mandel, it's his brother. And he's not carrying dope, he's carrying his brother's stamp collection. Theft? Mandel won't complain. His brother did him a favor, flushed us out. Total zip, your turn. <laughs> Tess, Cobb, what happened to your hair? Shampooed in a dumpster. You didn't come by last night. I was working. I waited up. Sorry, Mag, I didn't call. Shouldn't have expected me. You didn't call, so I did expect you. I wouldn't just drop by. I gave you a key. You want me to call first? I have a, a trial. I'll talk to you later. Well, do you have his records? Thank you. Uh, Dickie, is there something you'd like to tell me? Um, yeah, I'd appreciate that very much. Thanks. I mean, I, I, I've just barely gotten used to steady dating. Uh, she belongs to Tessa's witness. But Maddie. this, I... You, you can know. touch her. Uh, Come on, you can touch her. No, I, I'm not insured. About last night? Yeah. You were right. You don't have to come over. You don't have to call. No, I... Let's not backslide here, Mag. I want to come over. I just thought I should call first. Absolutely. If you don't call, I'm a free agent. You're always a free agent. I can do whatever I used to do. Right, you can do whatever you want to do. Good. Are we having a problem here? I'm bad. Why? People say I'm the life of the party because I tell a joke or two. Although I might be laughing loud and hearty, Deep inside. Yo! Yeah. Nope. I'm not sure how he spoke Clemens. I think we need to set some ground rules about uh, phone calls and visits. Well, how many counties do you guys have out there? I, I really don't think it's that complicated. I think we should know what our expectations are. No. No, finding this guy is very complicated. We are doing fine. It's no big deal. Well, I want to keep it going fine. No, no, finding this guy is a big deal. I need it today. I'll wait. My smile is my makeup. I wear since my breakup with I don't call by 8 p.m. I shouldn't come over? Well, nine. Mag, this is silly. Son of a bitch! Arthur! What the hell was that? Oh, Whoa, gross. Hey, hey, hey! Hold it! Put that down! Get the hell out of my way! Did you know Stark? Yes. <laughs> Arthur Gold. <laughs> um, deputy just. Get back! I got two people here! I'll kill them both! I, I, uh, uh, deputy, district attorney, could, could you put that away? I don't think so. Well, well, you're not going to shoot anybody. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Mr. Stark, you are a man of respect. And standing in this community, why do you want to bring so much service into your life? I didn't get where I am by standing still while sniveling naysayers. I never said nay. I know nay when I hear it. Get her out of here. Get her, get her. Might be able to slip out of here, too. Oh, no. Not until we settle the ground rules. Okay, let's review the guidelines. Friday and Saturday nights, they're assumed. Unless one of us says otherwise. Is this really necessary? Now, weeknights would be reversed, except Wednesday. Maggie, this should just come naturally. You can discuss this with me, or you can go out that door and get shot. Your choice. <laughs> what are you 
doing? He's fired twice now. I gotta go in. You can't go alone. There isn't much time. It's gotta be getting tense in there. Uh, hold it. What's wrong with Chinese? I think we're a little beyond Mugu Guy Pan. I was sort of hoping for pizza. Do I have to do everything around here? Call Maurice at the Ritz Carlton. Tell him we want three cold dill salmons and the bottle of. Uh, Montrachet? Puligny Montrachet, 1990. No, 1989. Hold on. You don't approve of white burgundies? Well, that would be the safe choice. But a Cote de Bon would better accentuate the flavor of the dill. The Montrachet with two glasses and a bottle of ginger ale. When I give you the signal, pick up the heaviest thing you can find, a uh, law book or something, and drop it on the floor. Dickie, all those rules about when to call, when to come. Oh, not now. No, no, no I, I just want to eat last night. I thought you were coming. I was disappointed. I felt bad that you weren't there. Then I got mad at myself for expecting you, for wanting you. But I, I felt good about wanting you, you know. But then I got mad at myself. I'll be there tonight. Are you gonna call first? I think that's what's going on. Freeze! Freeze! Drop it! Drop it! It's not worth dying for real estate, Reggie. I wasn't sure if I should call before 9 or after 9, if I was or was not coming by before the sun went down or the clock struck 12. Because I lost this huge piece of paper that had the Maggie Sombro relationship rules written on it. And that's why I was late. I was standing on the corner trying to remember which one of the 3,000 regulations applied to this particular situation. And finally, I just said the hell with it. And here I am. You do know how to make an entrance, Dickie. 